Welcome back everyone. Tonight we're going to go through a new vehicle I picked up. It's a 1968 Dodge Charger from the movie Christine. Uh, this is the car driven by Dennis Gilder, which is Arnie Cunningham's best friend. Uh, they actually drive this car to pick up Christine when they first find it. So we'll go ahead and uh, in honor of that, I've actually got a couple Christine models I'm going to crack open as well. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those now. This is the 1968 Dodge Charger from the movie Christine. Uh, it's a 164 scale die cast. This is series 22 of Greenlight Hollywood. And we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look. Okay, here's the charger out of the package. Um, you see it's got nice chrome mag wheels on it. It has Delta 70 Roadmax tires, which I've never personally heard of that. But I'm guessing that's actually legitimate from when the movie was made. So um, if that is a true detail from the movie, that's pretty detailed. Um, and of course it has the vinyl black top as well. Um, it's kind of a satin, you know, matte color. Good detail on the back. Um, and then, of course, the hood opens as well. So we'll look at the engine now. You see it's pretty nicely detailed in there. A little chrome, and then it's got the orange air cleaner. You can see on the bottom, this is a die-cast metal chassis as well. Uh, this is car number 5,338. So not a real low production car. I'm sure they made a lot of these. This will be popular. Um, this is a 2018 release. And you can see there's a lot of detail painted into this casting. There is uh, trim painted around the wheel wells as well as the door handles and door locks. The stainless around the window sills, front bumper. Uh, it also has a front and rear license plate painted on there, which I'm assuming is accurate to the movie. And now we have the 1958 Plymouth Fury. Uh, this is the Auto World version from Christine. And it's part of their Silver Screen Machine series. It features a die-cast metal body and chassis as well. Just like the green light, it also has an opening hood. And you can see on the box it has the for sale sign, the 1958 Plymouth, $300 cash or best offer. And it has a phone number there, 555-3183. And you can see the car has the for sale sign on it as well, um, in addition to having weathering done to it. So we'll get this out of the package and take a closer look. So this is kind of how things went in the movie. They pulled up, um, Arnie saw the car from the road and made his friend stop to look at it. And you can see it's got the fogged up windows, um, has a lot of weathering rust on the side of it there. Um, it's kind of a gouge in the side of the quarter panel there next to the rear window. Um, lots of rust all over. And it has the roof has actually got some rust um, paint as well. It's supposed to be a white roof on top, but it's all rusted out. Uh, you can see in the front that it's missing a headlight, and just overall the whole car is weathered. Um, even has the license plate in the front there. And kind of more of the same on the other side, just a general worn condition. Missing the hubcaps. And then the back is the same as well, and you can see the license plate there in the center. So this is a very highly detailed model. Um, and of course it has a metal chassis as well. I don't see a number on this one, but... I'm sure they made, well, I think it said on the box they made 4,800, so not real limited, somewhat limited, but it's still a lot of cars, so. Uh, this does have rubber tires as well, I don't know if I mentioned that. And the hood opens on this, so we should be able to take a look at the engine now. Yep. So there you can see, like in the movie, it has the uh, dual four barrels, I believe that is. There's a kind of a side shot of the engine. And then the inside, you can't see a whole lot in there, but it does have the red interior as the car had in the movie. Kind of just barely see. You can see it through the back glass there a little better. That's red, but um, it's kind of fogged up, so it's hard to see inside it. So that's the 1958 Plymouth Fury. Kind of the weathered uh, purchase edition from when Arnie first finds it. And then we'll go ahead and open another now. This will be the final car for today's video. Uh, this is the kind of evil version of the 58 Plymouth Fury Christine. Um, it's also from Auto World. And this is from the Silver Screen Machines as well. So this will have a few differences from the previous car. Uh, the main difference is that it actually has black tinted windows as the car in the movie had. Uh, so you couldn't tell if Arnie was actually in the car or if Christine was just driving herself um, out doing things. So, and then of course the car is restored as well and you know has hubcaps and everything else in place as it should from the factory. So we'll go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at it. Here's the evil Christine out of the package. 
see it's very shiny and glossy. Um, everything's been restored from the previous version, but like I said, uh, I guess you can see through the windows. It's not solid black. It is just tinted. You can actually see in there. So um, I guess if you looked hard enough, maybe you could see if Arnie was driving or not. Um, but anyway, it's kind of a smoked black. And of course, the rest of the car has got high detail on it. Um, has gold trim on the rear by the taillights there. And then has the silver stripe going all the way across the side of the car. And of course, it's got a little gold emblem in the middle there. And then the silver grill. The headlights have been replaced. And we'll go ahead and open the hood on this one as well. Okay, you can see that the engine's uh, a little more detailed than the previous version. Uh, it's got the gold paint on the intake manifold, as well as silver paint on the valve covers and air cleaners. There's kind of a front view of it. This is a part um, from the beginning of the movie. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but the hood actually closes on one of the factory assembly line workers and um, hurts his hand really bad. So we'll go ahead and get it on the uh, rotating display and take a look at it. And here's some more shots of Christine rotating. Um, nothing else really to talk about too much about the car. We've gone through everything already, but just to give you an overview of the car. And we'll go ahead and get the weathered version on there now. See quite a difference between the two, but these are both auto world, so same casting and everything. So it's a nice comparison between the two. We'll get them side by side. I do expect that Greenlight's probably coming out with their own version. I don't know that they have to this point. Um, but they have the licensing for Christine, so I'd say that's on the way here soon. If it hasn't been announced already, I'm sure it will be. But here's the two side by side. And again, here's the 1968 Dodge Charger. I'll put links in the description below the video in case you'd like to purchase your own of one of these vehicles. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so, so you don't miss a future video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.